Now, the times are changing and so are our lifestyles and the choices of foods we eat. Sabah Kazi gets behind the Indo-Israeli partnership that's making it possible for you to eat Indian-grown exotic fruits and vegetables. When you think of exotic vegetables, the first thing that comes to your mind is that they are expensive. Well, not always. All thanks to the Indo-Israel Agricultural Cooperation Project spread across different fertile belts in the country. The success of the Karnal Center of Excellence, the first to be set up within the framework of the Indo-Israeli Agreement, serves as a role model for starting new ones. These centers of excellence caters to both small and large farm holders. Thus offering a wide range of agricultural practices, from high-tech poly houses to walking tunnels and net houses. This, this center has given impetus to all those, uh, all those uh, technologies, like uh, demonstration of new hybrids, demonstration of new varieties. Over 20,000 farmers visit the center every year. During the first three years of operation, the effectiveness of the Israeli technologies became evident with a dramatic 5 to 10 times increase in crops. In addition to increase in crops, there was a reduction of 65% in water use and a noticeable decrease in the use of pesticides and fertilizers. Enabling cultivation a wide variety of exotic vegetables, for instance, these bell peppers. Uh, here in the center there are a few uh, uh, different colors of bell peppers. There's red be bell peppers, yellow ones, green ones. And this one, as, as you said, is one of the most special ones. This is a chocolate uh, color. It doesn't have a chocolate flavor, but it does have the distinct uh, look of like a chocolate uh, pepper. It's very unique and it doesn't exist in many places. And um, I think here in Karnal it's one of the, the most special places to have uh, this unique uh, bell pepper. The Center of Excellence provides a suitable platform for a rapid transfer of technology to farmers and a lot of profit for everybody involved. What you can see behind me are crops and plants of wheat, iceberg lettuce, there's cabbages, broccoli somewhere there. All these exotic vegetables, no, they are not coming from anywhere abroad but very much within the country. So the next time you are at a market and the vegetable vendor is trying to tell you that you are buying stuff which is from overseas, no, it's not imported, very much Indian. The Indo-Israel project facilitates such crops in India helping the farmers with not just business within the country but also opportunities overseas. In Karnal with camera person Alok Das, I am Sabah Kazi for Headlines Today.